The most intellectual person I've ever met in my life is someone who never finished elementary school. The most intellectual person in my life is my mother, an ordinary housewife who was born and raised in a refugee camp in the suburbs of Beirut in Lebanon. The sounds of gunshots, the presence of checkpoints, all fit our frame of what was normal. But it is not normal waking up thinking today could be your last day. My mother taught herself how to read, how to write. She challenged herself to be the best she could, not for herself, but for her family, for the next generation to follow. Today, I'm the first in the family to be earning this degree. And all the thanks goes to that ordinary housewife. An ordinary housewife who was quoting the Palestinian poet, Mahmoud Darwish. لو كان لي دربان لاخترت البديل الثالث Have I had two roads, I would have chosen the third. The ordinary housewife taught me many lessons. She instilled the love of education in me to achieve everything she was never able to achieve. This is one of my favorite quotes by Albert Einstein. Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Excellence is not a destination, it is a continuous journey that never ends. And if Whitman has taught us one thing, it will be that. Back then, I was tired of being irrelevant in Lebanon. It was normal for a Palestinian to have never left the area surrounding the camp. I thought about giving up so many times and giving into the pressure. At that moment, my mother changed my fate with her words. She said, Fadia, no matter how many bullets are being fired at you, you keep standing, don't give up. Despite everyone around me telling me to give up and accept my reality, I applied to attend a boarding school in the United Kingdom that focused on bridging together people from different cultures for peace and a sustainable future. That checkpoint that once seemed so imposing was reduced to a very teeny tiny spot that was barely visible from the window of the plane. Final lesson I want to share with you. Don't let anyone define you by your past. Show them the bright future you are building. We find wisdom in the most unexpected ways. When disappointment strikes and we hit our lowest points, during these moments, we must find anchored deep within us the will to overcome these tribulations. Overcoming these moments is what defines us, and that is how we grow to make an impact in the world. With all of that, let us never forget to always treat others with kindness, not because of who they are, but because of who we are. I want you all to ask yourselves one question. What is your purpose? Here is what the ordinary housewife would encourage you to keep in mind. That you take criticism with an open mind and use it to improve the person you are. That you challenge yourself, that you take risks, that you won't judge, that you never forget your manners, that you always treat people with kindness, and that you always aim as high as the sky. In that way, we'll honor our predecessors who stood here before us, and all of those who invested in us, the graduates today, to see us standing here. Class of 2022, as we leave Whitman today, let us never forget that we have the ability to get through absolutely anything. This pandemic in particular has proved to us that our will to live lies in our connection to one another. Let us lift each other up, support one another, and celebrate each and every moment of today and tomorrow. We have the whole world in front of us, and I cannot wait to see what we do with it. Thank you so much, and congratulations to all.